the USS Laffey is an elite destroyer from the Eagle Union, and is one of the starter destroyers that you get a chance to pick when you start the game. However unlike Javelin, a enemy NZ-23 who specializes only at one thing, Laffey gets the perk of being average at everything. While she doesn't excel at anything she isn't bad at anything either making her a jack of all trade kind of ship that can easily be put at any fleet. Laffy like the other starter destroyers also has a retrofit. Her stats is rather average, and will make you think that she is not that special at all. She has a B for firepower, C for hit points, B for AA, B for speed, an E for aviation which is quite obvious for a destroyer and a C for torpedo. With this set of stats one will be forgiven if they think that Laffy is just another boring elite destroyer. However not excelling at anything and being average at everything actually works more on her favor because it makes her more flexible unlike other destroyers who are either too heavily dependent on their evasion or torpedo stats. This makes Laffy a rather flexible ship that you can reliably depend on almost anything that you expect a destroyer can do. For Laffy stats are just numbers, because what Laffy wants to do, Laffy can do. This means you can put her on any kind of fleet you want, and not worry if she will perform good in it or not. When you first get her, she will have two skills readily available. The first one is War God of Solomon which when maximumed out will give Laffy a 40% increase in firepower, reload and evasion for 8 seconds which are rather nice buff that a skill gives, but this comes at a cost of having only 5% chance to proc every time she fires her main gun. However that 5% is joke, because you will be surprised at how often this skill procs when Laffy is in battle. The second skill that is readily available to her is All Out Assault, which is a barrage skill that activates every time after Laffy fired her main gun 10 times. This skill is not unique to her, since almost all vanguard ships have some form of all-out assault at their disposal. Retrofitting her not only upgrades her rarity from elite to super rare and boosts her stats, but also unlocks her retrofit skill annihilation mode which is basically just Laffy going berserk. This skill lets Laffy fire a powerful barrage, and gives her a 200% boost from her reload for 10 seconds, and unlike her war god of Solomon. Her skill annihilation mode gets a 70% chance to proc every 20 seconds. However you are still more likely to see Laffy activate her War God of Solomon skill more often than her annihilation mode skill, because of how her skills, her equipment and RNG interacts with each other. Now onto her gear. For her main gun, the most recommended is a gold twin 127mm MK12 dual gun. You could also give her the gold twin 100mm type 98AA gun or the single 138.6mm main gun MLE 1929, but this alternative options are not the best for her, and are better suited for other ships. For the torpedo, you could either give her the gold quintuple 533mm torpedo or the quadruple 610mm torpedo, if you are a manual player or the quintuple 533 magnetic torpedo, if you are an auto player. For her anti-air, any gold anti-air gun works well on her, but I like to use the quadruple 40mm boffers gun on her, because it has good damage per wave and fast reload. For her auxiliary, I recommend giving her a gold SG radar to increase her hit and evasion stats. This also works on decreasing the chances of your fleet getting ambushed which could be a game changer. If your fleet only have one ammo left and you can't afford to get into an engagement with an ambush mob. For her second auxiliary, you could either go for type 93 pure oxygen if you want more damage and if you have a lot of this laying around. If you don't you can either go for high performance hydraulic steering gear or the beaver squad tag. However if you don't have any of this, a gyroscope could be a good alternative. For her optional gear, if you are going to try and clear an event map and you don't have a powerful fleet, or is worried that Laffy might not be able to survive to help you clear the map, you could swap any of her auxiliary with the New York City Coast Recon Report, if you have one, but if you don't you can just stick with the gears that you had given her. Lastly for fleet arrangement, as mentioned before, Laffy being a jack of all trade destroyer gives her freedom 
to be a part of any fleet, be it an all-legal union fleet, or a mixed one, a mob fleet, or a boss fleet, a regular fleet, or an event clearing fleet. Laffy works well in any of those, and she doesn't require any particular ships to be sorted with her unlike other ships that has skills that needed them to be with certain ships, or depends on other ships to compensate for their weakness. However if you can't really decide on which fleet you really want to put her you could just do what I did, and hunt down more laffers, and then retrofit them, so that you can put a laffy in every single fleet you have. That's it for this video, and I hope this was informative in some way, and may help guide you in your gameplay. All this are just my suggestion and everyone is free to either follow it or ignore it. If you like this video then please leave a like, and do consider subscribing to my channel. Again thank you for watching, and I will see you around.